Am I allowed to disagree with you? Hey guys, I'm Mary. I'm Amanda. And we're Mary Amanda. And this is our little pal, Simon. Can you say hi, Simon? Say hi. Oh, no, no, his paw. Okay. okay. Okay, so today we're filming a little Q&A. Um, Simon. And, and Simon's gonna be distracting us <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like we said, today is a Q&A, and obviously we're in a different place because usually we film at Mary's house, but today we're, um... We're in Toronto filming at your house. Yeah, so that's why we got Sai with us. Sai's oh, so cute. Okay, he's almost as cute as you. A. Oh, <laughs> well, he's definitely cute as you. Cute. Hey. So, <laughs> uh, we went on Twitter and we asked Instagram you guys and yeah. asked uh, if anyone had any questions for a Q&A, and we got enough for a video so uh, the first question we definitely have different opinions on how do you feel about 5h now with harmony how do you feel about them how do you feel well <laughs> i do miss fit family being together because i really love them i think we both kind of miss them together i miss like 2014 with harmony yeah but i don't miss any of the girls <laughs> Except for Camila, I like I kind of been supportive of them at the beginning when they like broke up, but now I don't really care much. And uh, honestly, Camila was always my favorite, <laughs> and probably a lot of people will hate me for saying that. Um, There's one or two members who I never even liked, so I don't I, have to talk about that. I, I don't pay attention to them at all. Um, but yeah, I'm really indifferent. Like I missed like 2013, 2014 when they all like loved each other and it was all great. Um, but now I really only care about Camila. So yeah, pretty much the same. I still love them, but I wouldn't spend any money on them. Well, Camila, we would. Yeah, we're exactly meeting Camila, Camila um, in Montreal and Toronto on the romance tour in September of this year. So that's really exciting. Yeah, there's next. a couple <laughs> next. Okay, are you going to do a meal prep video? Uh, that's a that's actually like a pre really good question, and that's also a really good idea. Because I film meal prepping for a while, and I love it, and I post about it all the time. And I like lots of people ask me questions about it. So maybe we could do one if like more people want us to do it. So let us know if you want us to do one. If there's a meal prepping video, it would just be Mary meal prepping, because I can't cook. <laughs> Well, you could cut the veggies or something. <laughs> I, see some. I still um, live at home, so my mom cooks for me. Well, you do meal prep sometimes. Sometimes, like the, the same thing every day. Like, I literally eat the same thing every single day. Yeah, I do meal prep like the same time. But same like things all the time. But like, I never switched up. Like, the only mm. thing I ever meal prep is turkey with veggies. Okay. Okay. Next question: Would you rather have to read out loud? Oh, sorry. Would you rather have to read out loud every word you read or sing everything you say out loud? I think I'd rather sing everything I say. I'm sorry for people around me, but I wouldn't be able to like read everything, uh, say out loud everything I read. I'd rather mm. sing about everything. Ow, my ears. <laughs> um, honestly, I'd prob probably rather read out loud every word I read because like, I talk to myself already, so it's nothing different. <laughs> I don't know, but it's no big deal for me. When do you guys plan on living together? Can you answer this one? Um, right now, we don't really have an exact plan, per se. Right now, we don't have an exact plan, per se. Um, definitely by the end of this year, hopefully. Um, I don't know if we would rush it if it wasn't, like, if we weren't long distance though like right now we like want to live together because we're so far apart yeah. so it's like if i'm gonna move to her city she's gonna move here we're gonna live together we're not gonna live apart and obviously we don't want to um be long distance forever yeah we're, it's almost been a year of long distance because like at first we went really long distance we were only two hours apart but then when i moved home from school now we're six hours apart um so yeah so hopefully this year um, there's a couple things that have to fall into place first. Mm -hmm. um, 
I really want to move to Montreal, where she's from, but the only problem is, is I don't speak a word of French at all. Like, I can't speak French. And there are a lot of jobs there for English-speaking people, but it's also really difficult because a lot of times they want you to be bilingual, and obviously they'll take bilingual candidates over um, yeah. Anglophones. So it is more difficult for me to find a job there, but it's a lot cheaper to live where she lives compared to where I live. Um, but yeah, I think we'll, by the end of 2020, we should be yeah. living together. So hopefully it works out. Yeah. Um, so next question, how far do you guys live from each other? Well, we live like six hours from each other. Well, depend on traffic. <laughs> yeah. Well, like if you have to take the bus or if I'm driving. Okay, yeah, or... like it depends. Like obviously if I take the bus to get home from her, her house, it takes me like 10, 10, 11 hours. But if she drives, it takes her like five to six hours. Um, sometimes I fly or she's flown here a couple of times. Um, and this like an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot quicker. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. How long have you been together for? Um, a year and almost three months. Two months. Two months. Yeah. Yeah. November 24th, 2018. That's when we started dating. <laughs> who's the top and who's the bottom? I'll let you guys think about it. Just like look at our personalities and it's probably obvious. Actually, it's probably not. <laughs> I think we're both well-rounded. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> um, how old are you both and when are your... When are your birthdays slash star signs? I'm 23. I almost said 22. And my birthday is August 7, 1996. And that makes me... Leo? And that makes me a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Okay. Um, my birthday is May 6th. Um, so I am 22. And... I'm a Taurus. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you like eating healthy food? Oh. <laughs> do we like it? Do we like it? Um, okay, so for me, um, I never really liked eating healthy food before. Um, Mary loves salad, like it's her favorite food. Yeah. I don't really necessarily like eating healthy. Um, my mom started doing CrossFit and got really into it. So she ate, began eating really healthy, obviously, because you have to feel your body. Um, so when I'm home, I kind of just eat what she eats and she doesn't buy any junk food or have anything bad in our house. Um, and then I, you know, um, I just want, okay, obviously I want to be healthier, but I also want to lose weight. So I started to do CrossFit and, um, I noticed that if I eat like poorly, that I feel awful. Like I can't work out as hard. Like I just, like, I like, I'm like dragging, um, but when I eat healthy, like I can definitely notice that I feel better and I can push harder at the gym. So, um, so yeah, I just like eating healthy. And then like, once I started seeing results, like once I started losing weight, um, and getting stronger and being able to do more things at the gym, it kind of motivates me to eat healthy because I want to be able to like push myself and do well. So I guess that's how I like to eat healthy. Also, you find stuff you like, like, yeah, um, not everything healthy has to not be good. good. Like, okay. I love cottage cheese. Like I know a lot of people don't like it, but I am obsessed. I have cottage cheese for breakfast every morning. Um, and for dinner, honestly, I have like eggs and bush muffins every day. Like it's not like necessarily. I don't know no. you find you can find good alternatives to everything. Like we buy um Russell Stovo. Wait, oh, I have one here. Okay, this is really good chocolate. It's um sugar free yeah, chocolate, sugar -free. and it tastes so good. And like obviously, anything's bad in moderation. Like it's still not healthy food necessarily. Like you shouldn't just because it's no sugar doesn't mean you should go have a whole bunch of them. But it's really good. And yeah. How do you like eating healthy? Well, because like, I used to think, oh, I'll get this for like if I ever want cookies, but then like, I just have to not buy it. And I'm not gonna go out and get cookies just cause I'm craving cookies. But if I have some at home, I'm gonna eat them if I want something sweet. So then I have like fruit and veggies at home. And I don't know, like sweet potatoes are like, they yeah. are LT and but. And like you can still eat poorly and like, you can still eat junk food sometimes. Yeah, like we have poutine, we have yeah. wings. Too. Oh yeah, that's like, also how I eat healthy is. So like, for example, last time I went to go visit Mary, I really wanted poutine from, from this like really famous poutine place in Montreal. So my motivation all week was like, hey, if I eat healthy all week, then I won't feel guilty about mm -hmm. having the poutine. Like that's, I have to eat healthy because that's gonna be my treat this week is the poutine. Yeah. So that was my motivation. But also like, 
you have to find healthy things you like because if you find healthy things that, that you don't like you won't want to eat them mm. either so like you have to find recipes that you enjoy yeah and you also have to like switch it up a little i know you don't but like i have to otherwise i'm gonna get bored of like eating the same thing every week it's about finding the ones you like and then it's not that hard to do do you use toys? No, I sequence a lot. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a game. What do you think they mean? We love those these board games called Exit. They're like escape rooms. Yeah, those or, are really I fun. I often like play with this one. This, with He's my Simon? favorite toy. With Simon. Yeah, yeah. Like Simon loves this one. If we throw it for him. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sai. <laughs> um, yeah. Sequence, skip bow. Yeah, I, don't I wouldn't like... say toys. More like board games. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, like, yeah. Or card games. Oh, really yeah. Fun. Like, yeah. Like, Idiot's a really fun one. Yeah, mostly, like, card and board games, I'd say. Not not, so, not toys. Not toys, yeah. We're not, like, 12. Please. <laughs> 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 no one else is gonna laugh. We're <laughs> so funny. Okay. Next question. What do you prefer about each other? Um... I love <laughs> your smile. Stop me not smile. I love your real smile. And like that's my favorite thing. She's got the prettiest smile. And um she's okay. Cover your ears. Don't listen to this. She's really funny. <laughs> I know. She's really <laughs> funny and she's uh, a lot of fun to be with and yeah, Mary is. I love her hair. <laughs> My little ginger. Um, okay. Um, and also, Mary's very caring. And I've said this before, I think, as a girlfriend type, but she goes out of her way for every, like, to help everyone. And she'll always make sure everyone's happy. Sometimes I'll make sure other people are happy before herself, but sometimes. All the time. <laughs> and. Yeah. Yeah, and she's really funny. She treats me very well. Okay, your favorite memory together? Mm, that's a hard one. I think, okay, it was a year ago. Like, exactly. Um, I think one of my favorite memories was when we, like, our first road trip together. Yeah, that was fun. Like, it, we <laughs> drove to Allentown, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. <laughs> And then we went to Freehold, New Jersey. So um, we went to a different country. <laughs> yeah, we did. I don't know. We just, it was the first time staying in a hotel together. We went to IHOP and uh, an Arky place. We saw a concert and it just, it was really fun. And there was a snowstorm. So we had to stay there one more night. Oh yeah, like, we were supposed to go home on the Sunday. Yeah. But then there was a snowstorm. So we had to stay till Monday and we literally just stayed in the hotel. We left to go get Chipotle. Yeah. And because there wasn't a snowstorm where we were. It was like up north where we had to go like, to, get, to get back home. But the highway were like really bad so we couldn't drive back home. So we stayed one more night. We like chilled by the pool. It was so much fun. Like it, it's probably one of my favorite memory together. Okay, next question. Do you often argue? <laughs> do we? I don't think we do. But last night you said we do. We don't. We don't really argue. We've much. never like, fought. Like we've never been like yelling at each other. Or like we don't stay mad for more than like five minutes. <laughs> Our arguments are mostly like <laughs> I'm really stubborn and I like to be right, and Mary likes to be right too. So like not as much as you. But like I'll be like, <laughs> like I don't know. I if someone like contradicts what I say, I just get annoyed. So then I'm like. So now. so now she's like <laughs> yesterday she wanted to argue like not argue with me but say something opposite of what i was gonna say she's like am i allowed to disagree with you <laughs> <laughs> like you know <laughs> but we don't really fight fight no like i can't think of a time we actually like fought like we have like little like bickering like mm -hmm. like when she's driving i'll be like mm -hmm. <laughs> when she's driving i'll backseat drive a lot <laughs> what is the most difficult thing regarding a long distance relationship mm, well not being able to see each other yeah uh, i think this is gonna sound cheesy for just like 
not being like not falling asleep together not like at the end of the day I, I get back home to an empty bed like yeah I think and it's like we've been also really busy the past few weeks like with work and stuff and like we see friends because over the holidays we like had like work things and stuff so then we don't get that much time to even text or like FaceTime so I think yeah. like we don't get to talk as much as we'd like to yeah I'd say that and I'd say like just like when there's stuff like sometimes we can't see each other as often just because we're busy but sometimes like say like I had a family dinner but she can't come or like I don't know when there's things that we can't go to with each other that we wish each other were there for I think that's awesome um what's your favorite thing to do together mm. play with our toys <laughs> yeah <laughs> we think that's a lot of fun <laughs> We love, we honestly, seriously, we, we just play games all the time. Like I'm really excited to get over with it, this to play. <laughs> our, we got an escape room game. game. Yeah, like honestly, we play games like all the time. That's all we do, play games. I don't even think we do anything else. Well, no, but I'll, like we talked about this last night, else. but like just dinner dates, like going out for, <laughs> just like going out for lunch or dinner. Yeah, yes, like, like last night really we went out for dinner because I was craving wings so badly. So we went out and um, it was so much fun because we never just, especially when we're at my house, we're not really alone a lot because my mom's here or we're always doing something. Um, so it was really nice to go out for okay. dinner and just talk because also a lot of times when we do do dates, do, 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 a lot of times when we go on dates, sorry, English is my first language. Um, a lot of times when we go on dates, um, they're really fun, but they're not necessarily just us mm -hmm. talking, doing nothing. If that yeah. makes sense. Well, we're eating, but how many children do you want? Eight. Oh hell no! We have not discussed this number. I have always k. I've always dreamt of having a lot of children growing up. Um, I even told you this last night, like, they used to, like, draw, draw what you want to be when you're older, right? What you want to be. And I'd literally draw a picture of a house and be like a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> Aspiration level was so high. <laughs> Big goals in life. <laughs> um, but I always wanted to be a mother, so. Yeah. I think I would want, like, four kids. I think four is, like, a good number for kids. Yeah. But, like, I, I feel like we could... we. Like, we kind of, like, talk about this a lot lately. Um, we do want, like, kids, but we also would really like to foster kids. So, like, maybe we'll have, like, four kids and then just foster more that we might adopt or not. Because not all kids have to be adopted. Cause not all, all are adoptable. Some go, yeah. some still go back with their families. Yeah, so, like, I think we would really like to foster kids at some point. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, that's a good question. Where do you see your us in five years definitely living together oh we have to um engaged okay probably not married yet no but like planning the wedding probably <laughs> um uh, probably at least one kid yeah see this is the thing i don't i don't want to get married like obviously I want to marry her. Like she's so beautiful. But like we can have kids before marriage. <laughs> yeah. So um, I rather save and have a big wedding, or I rather I don't even care about a big wedding. I'd rather use that money for travel yeah. or a house or stuff. I don't know. That's something that's yeah. We'll see. Maybe we'll but definitely have, like, in five a wedding years. Away. Definitely probably hopefully one kid and and engaged and living in a house. Our, our own house um, with our dream cars. Tesla and Jeep. <laughs> white. <laughs> Both white. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the question. Yeah, thank you guys for all your questions. And thanks so much for watching our videos. Do not, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. And then baby Simon would love it too. Would he? Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.